Children's Hospital at Dartmouth has the strongest pull on my heartstrings. When you think about it, uh, there's no greater cause than sick or injured children and to advocate for them. My son Harris is a Chad kid. It was a different experience, I think, than anybody could ever imagine unless they've had to go through it. When your two and a half year old son um, is, is stuck in a hospital bed for, you know, 61 days, we were going to um, support Chad forever. We were in debt. Meeting the Chad families and the kids was really important to me. It had an impact on me, just showing me how much other people are going through and how you can make a difference in life. I came up with the idea of the game because football has been a big part of my life and that of my siblings. Nick came to me about this idea about a football game for Chad. But it was way more than about raising money for the cause. It really was about finding a way to instill in the young athletes a way and a power to give back. I had been saying for years that we really need an interstate all-star game so that we can get more kids involved. When I saw what it was going to benefit, what an opportunity for me to give back to, to the Chad organization and coach the game. Another major aspect of the game is the selection process and choosing athletes from across the region and from many different schools. The athletes themselves get to be a part of this game through a selection process that the coaches get to scout, they get to review film, and they will also look into the character of the player. This is a privilege to play in this great game for a great cause. I do believe today we have become the game to play in for these young aspiring athletes. So our focus wasn't really teaching football. They already know how to play football. Our focus was teaching them philanthropy. The true meaning to philanthropy is that not only is it powerful to give, but it changes your life and that it gives your life greater meaning. And then, in fact, you become the beneficiary. Once I took the tour and I saw what these families and kids were going through, almost an obligation of mine to, to help make a difference in any way I could. How important was it for me to be part of the game? I don't know if words really can describe that feeling. I had brought Harris into the locker room before the game started and held him up. I reminded the kids why they were really playing. I bet you most of them would say that that moment really, you know, hit them a little bit to know that, you know, you're not playing for football, you're playing for an actual human being. This is more than just a football game. Because these players are playing for a cause that's greater than themselves, they're really impacted by the kids and families that they get to know in the process and it really helps them to learn about life in a way that they otherwise wouldn't. I'll steal a line from Nick right off the bat that I've always loved. It was our job as people to leave this place better than we found it. And to walk away with that feeling that I now have to go back to my community and help. We don't want this experience to just end at the end of the game. When they stop playing, it doesn't mean you stop giving. My message to future players, you want to put on a good show, but that's, you're not even there to play a football game. You're there to send a message, you're there to help people, you're there to better yourself so that later on, not now, but 10 years from now, you're in a place where you can help people and you can do things like what we're doing is to make lives for people better.